Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 36, part 2. It's the 31st of January, 2020. I'm Ryan, the GM. Here's the players. Hi, I'm Callum. I play Lord Eric Greenwood, the human sorcerer. <laughs> Today voiced by Jon Snow. <laughs> Sorry. I am uh, Scott. I'm playing Crumbar, who is a half orc paladin. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitlith Amastasia, a wood elf rogue. And hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. Perfect. I've never noticed, but yeah, that totally was Jon Snow, 100%. Mm. <laughs> my god. I don't want it. You are my queen. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Uh... I think. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, yeah, you are in the camp, you are sleeping, you do your watch order, you can complete the watch order, so. It's Reach after Crumbar, uh, just Doria still asleep, and then it's Eric last. So, yeah. Just Doria doesn't even take her turn. That's terrible, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she took her turn. It was the closing the hellhole. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, but, yeah, so, like, the morning comes. Yeah. And last time, does anything during their, like, their watch two hours? Do anyone want to do anything? Obviously, because Kitty had done hers, so. So, Kitty gets to sleep. Well... I was uh, while we were away. I was actually just thinking about you know D and D life, and mm-hmm. I'm like, you know how obviously just story was like downright refusing to teach Kitty. Mm-hmm. I'm like, hmm, I think it's kind of we have a reason as to why she didn't want to teach her now, because then you know Kitty's been through enough transformations for one lifetime. I think. Yeah, right. It's almost like she was saying without actually saying. So this is bad. You don't want to drink this because you'll become addicted to this. You know, if it was something like coffee or meth. I honest to God, like you were just going to say, you don't want to drink this because you'll become a dick. <laughs> to be fair, she steals from old women. She's already a dick. <laughs> no hey, offense, look right. <laughs> hey, look right. Justification. Oh, I got a bird out of that. <laughs> yeah. I have zero regrets. Yeah, and if you somehow use that bird to save the fate of this entire world, totally justified, right? You did repay that back, though. It's not a theft now. It was a theft then. I can't remember it was like, what did you just leave? Random trinkets, wasn't it? Um, uh, it was, it was uh, well, I don't know if it was boots, belts or something like that. But it was yeah, it was, I think it was a pair of boots or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a random pair of boots with like a brass buckle. I think that's what, that was it. Um, yeah. So yeah, she probably gave them to her grandson, right? Let's face it. Yeah. He's probably needing a pair of boots for all those dates he goes on. Oh, yeah, I forgot she was trying to, like, set him up with Kitty or something. I mean, Kitty was like, we have this druid instead. <laughs> um, totally looks kind of And then Grumbar the shows up instead. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Grumbar is open minded. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so. Nobody got up to anything during the night then, during their their watch, their period of solitude? No? Good. Um, no. I can't really say I would get up too much. Um, probably just sit with your axe nearby, staring at the camp, thinking, mm-hmm. right? Because there's probably a lot going yep. in your head, because let's face it, for Crumbar you've learned that the Red Robe Man might be directly tied to worship of the Red Dragon, right? Mm-hmm. That's a biggie. You've learned that Historia was most definitely a fiend for a moment there. Mm-hmm. So that's a biggie. And yeah, you know, you know, you know the mindset Crumbar's in just now is, I need to get the horses. <laughs> that's the mindset. <laughs> yeah, like, that that is the kind of like shock I'm in just now. Yeah, I don't blame him. I really am not liking dragons. Yeah, right. Says the dra- yeah. paladin of the golden uh-huh. order. Yeah. Paladin of the kitchen <laughs> dragon. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's yeah, face it. My, my recent encounter dealing with, you know, two dragons has been: I got punched through a tree, and now this. <laughs> Assuming the can is a dragon. Yeah, she's a dragon. <laughs> Mind is set. Okay. She's a dragon. Mind is they are. But, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so it is women yeah. confirmed <laughs> yeah because Dakana and 
dragon are so similar. Dracana is, I'm sure that's a similar name. It probably is, to be honest. Dracana. Yeah. It sounds like some magic dragon, doesn't it? A Dracana. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, but anyway, yeah, just, cause she, just because a dainty lady pushed you through a tree doth not a dragon make, Crumber. <laughs> just make you a bitch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but he's not wrong. So, yeah, the morning happens. Eric, you're you wake every day, I guess, or people start to wake themselves. Who knows how that works, really? Oh, I know I'm going to wake them. Thunderclap! Oh, God. So you want to attack just already? No. I'm just <laughs> going to thunderclap in the middle of the camp. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Wakey, wakey, bitches! <laughs> well, I mean, it wouldn't be a morning without you beating your hammer, right? <laughs> oh. I mean, my hammer's, like, away. I'm just clapping. <laughs> So yeah, you clap, there's a boo, and everybody wakes with a start, I guess. So yeah. Except Arya, of course. Yeah, still still sleeping, still snoozing. <laughs> <laughs> She's got earmuffs on. Mm, yep, so we're, I think we're all awake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so what do you do? Get ready for the day. I guess. Yeah, just do wake up things. Are we going to try and catch up the the girl rescue team? Or well, I think we have the small problem of let's get Justoria back home first. Mm-hmm. Ah, she's kind of level, probably eighteen or so. But sorcerer, she's <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, no horses, she, don't she, we? She is icon level of. Uh, let yeah, let character. let's yeah. let's batter it some narrative for it first. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll kind of wake up, up in the morning let's borrow some narrative yeah <laughs> that sounds so Eremos at hearts doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> oh god I am becoming the thing I hate um, I'll, uh, I'll I'll approach Justoria and just be like what are your plans now and then she's kind of like got the blanket kind of huddled over in the kind of the cold morning air and she says I will recover from this. It will take some time, but hopefully with the changes I have made to the process, it will not have me weakened for too long. Unfortunately, it took far too long previously. Mm. Will you be okay to get back yourself? And just nods, kind of very slowly. She says, "Yes, I will return to Horizon." And you? And she looks at everyone. How we, long? Sorry, uh, you go. We, yeah, sorry. We are aware of at least one more hellhole that's still open. How long would it be till you're able to uh, attempt that one as well? Wait, what other one? We were aware of one down southwest. We went extreme southwest. Of... So remember, there was the two on the map she gave you, but this one yeah. wasn't one of them, Scott. Yeah. Do you remember? There was we the dire no. well, so second. There was the Direwood Hellhole, which was the one you went to straight away, but then there was the one near the city of Axis with the dragons. Do you remember? I thought that. I thought that was the one that we were just at. Nope. N- no. Did she just we... Nope. Uh, have one, you got the what, Have you got the map of it? I uh, probably do, yeah. Could you pull the map up just to uh, refresh my memory? There was one round about there, one round about there, and there was that one round about there was the one we went to. We didn't actually go to the one at Axis. We Sorry. did not go to... Uh, oh, well, wait, did we not we actually did not go, to... go to... That one. Right, right, that's so why I'm this trying is the to... One you've closed, to that one. Right? Let me just yeah. point with my point. All right, so you closed this one, right? So you went yeah. from Horizon to there, then you went back, and then you hammered and you... St- you just kind of thought about I going there, but you just didn't yeah. go there. You just ended up like here. Yeah. Right, right. And that's Glitterhagen, right. that's the capital, yeah. and that is Axis. Yeah, so, so we have not In the yeah, kind of Valley of Savine. Yeah, so we didn't actually go to that one. Nope. No. Right, yeah, that's why I was getting thrown off. I thought we'd been to it, and I was like, we've only been to two portals. What are you on about? Which <laughs> yeah, means right, okay. that is the direction in which the trio went, right? South. Oh shit! I mean, it's on the way, so we could go by it. I mean, no. The other weird thing is, though, see, the other group they went north 
whereas they're actually going east, would they not be, to yeah, get to the capital? Just, it just depends how they're getting to the capital, doesn't it? Right, okay, that's about the north, north, northeast, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, they would, like, realistically, you would guess that they were going to Clitterhagen, and, yeah. like, for the sake of not trying to play Arya's character, like, Ruya would come back and confirm that they're headed to Clitterhagen. Right, okay. It's cool. just based on the terrain. They need to go north. Yeah. But they would, um, they would be doing like a. X is available north, south, yeah. and well, west, or something, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, we can talk about it in game, actually, actually, then, because. So he's. Reach has just mentioned that, and I think I would just say. Like, Crumbar would just kind of interrupt a wee bit. It's like, well, if we're planning to go to the Citadel, we could always make a detour past that. The other portal. Oh, okay. I wasn't actually thinking the whole Citadel direct as in walking. I was hoping we'd get a shortcut at the city. Oh yeah, but I mean, like it's like narratively speaking, like if we're if we're there, then now we could go boop, 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 or however sea travel works. I mean, the quickest way. Really, would be Glitterhagen or Axis. Get a boat. Uh huh. And, and then go. sail uh. to the Yeah, but I'm. Uh, yeah, but, but I'm if on you want to go to. Yeah. So if it you... would be go that way, then back up to there. In fact, no, it'll probably be there. Um, there. I think most of you know where you are as well. I think we did all the survival checks and we're a good survey does. Uh, so can yeah, Crumbar, who's thinking about this, roll. Survival or history, whatever one you want, or nature. Actually, survival, history, or nature are all valid. All right. So, survivors, wisdom, nature's intelligence, history's intelligence. I roll survival. Ah, oh, no, fucking yes. Cool. So this area here, right, which is a bunch of kind of mountains. Mm -hmm. Is known as the Giant's Walk and that's very very badly filled with giants yes that's the thing where you just kind of keep walking around in circles isn't it no that's the Koru Behemoth path which yeah. is like that and I'm thinking oh, right. friendly massive elephants they are very yeah. much a don't give a fuck massive elephants yeah, yeah. like they, you could have a war underneath them and as long as you didn't bug them they wouldn't care about you so yeah, might stand in you a few times yeah. as they're going past, but that'd be it. Yeah, yep. Right. But I mean, it wouldn't be deliberate. I, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. we don't we don't necessarily need to like ride the line down there. You know, we can just yeah. Uh, I would recommend avoiding the kind of yeah. The um, I, I I don't like the idea of having to fight. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the idea of fighting a giant. Um, <laughs> but I don't. The problem is, think... it wouldn't just be one. That's the problem. Yeah, they're very um tribal. Also, the fact that they could probably literally just squeeze us and be like, bye, pop. Unless we have Benjamin. You also get different types of giants as well. So there could be like fire giants, earth giants, you know, air giants. Benjamin giant. No, sadly. Um, right, yeah. So that's my thinking is if. And remember, going... Axis is a neutral city as well. It is not mm. like an independent city, if you will. Much like how the elves are independent and the dwarves are independent. Um, mm. So that would be an interesting place to go. For that way. In terms of that's, not many... That's, I doubt many of you have been to Axis. That's that place yeah, there, isn't exactly. it? Yeah, exactly. It's in a volcano. Hmm. Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. But yeah, it's like a big, huge crater, if you will. Do you know if there's a... Um, yeah, well, let's... But I mean, yeah. I mean, that's my thinking. I mean, I, I want to close off the portals. It'd be good to actually, you know, wrap something up instead of just kind of abandoning it for something else. I assume, though, know, something like three weeks uh, to get to the city and then on to the portal. Justoria, uh, do you think you could... Uh, be fit to close another portal within under three weeks? I would hope I would be, yes. Barring any complications with my alterations to the process, 
I will try and refine it again further. How long did it take you to recover last time? The better part of a month. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um... She still kind of looks fucked up as well, to be honest, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll just say, well, like, well, hope, yes, well, hopefully it is not, it will not take that long. No, it was much more controlled this time. I had at least an idea of what I was getting into, whereas before yeah. it was essentially a month-long battle of wills. Mm. The problem here is, though, we found this one by accident, so... And we are aware of two others, three, well, three others if you include the abyss. So that's, we're still, it could easily be over a year to get rid of all of the portals on this world. That's... I am working on a way to track them down specifically as well. Ideally by when they formed, so that we can remove them, especially the ones left unattended the longest. We won't be the only people aware of these, sadly. Um, yeah. Well, maybe well, like, when people sorry. try and close them. That's, That's my worry. Yeah. Well, let's deal with the ones that we know of. I suggest we head south to the last portal. She kind of like kind of oh. stands up shakily and she says, my regrets that I cannot send you there myself. But I think it will take what's left of my strength to get me home. I uh, we are we are fit to to travel on foot. Uh, it's more important you get back and rest. There's the only thing is is how will we contact you again <clears throat> once we are there? So I just nod slowly, and she says, "Yes, we'll need to find." another way to communicate. Unfortunately, with Eric's family indisposed and his estate relocated, the trade agreement does not provide us a clandestine way of speaking, unfortunately. Do you have another one of those magic bracelets we could have? That Nothing. would... Nothing so attuned to me as that. Mm. It was mine growing up. Mobile number, uh, anything? Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, Can you meet us there and uh, when, once you've recovered? I definitely can, once recovered. Eesh. We that could wait in an yeah. exhaustion place for days, possibly. Mm. I'm just trying to think, like, or we just go there and then wait for her, or maybe when we get there, she might already be there. It's also right in the middle of that giant walk. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not a tourist area, put it that way. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. And How about, if, is there something of yours we could take so you could track where we're going, where we are? And she kind of like, she's rubbing her wrist at that and she was like, that was my bracelet, unfortunately. Yeah, I... mm. um, how, do you su uh, how do you suggest we contact you once there? She kind of like, clearly doesn't have an answer, right? You can see that very mm -hmm. visibly on her face. But she doesn't exactly want to disappoint the group because it's the kind of, yeah, I don't really want my kind of alpha team to kind of lose faith in this process given what's happened so far. Um, mm -hmm. So she says, how quickly can you get there from here? Well, narrative, like non-narratively speaking, you're saying what, about three weeks? No, I never oh, said I any, guess. That, that was oh. Stu's. Um, yeah. oh. See if you went like fairly quickly right? Mm -hmm. Where you yeah. maybe skipped a day every couple of days, right? You would need to rest, obviously, to avoid exhaustion and stuff, but if you maybe skipped mm -hmm. a day and didn't all bugger up your endurance rolls, rolls. you could yeah. probably get there in three weeks, but you wouldn't right. be able to, like, stop and look at anything along the way. Not that you just want to, but 
Mm. For example, I... stopping to get into fights and stuff would fuck up that. Mm. Let's say four weeks then, yeah. You could comfortably, if you, you could easily like go much like safer, if that makes sense. You could take a lot more caution and slightly stay away from the mountains of the Giant's Walk. And definitely it would take four four weeks, yeah, you could probably get there. Yeah. You'd still need to be quite quick. No Rapid, the road. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I, um, yeah, yeah. I'll just say that. So then it's like, um, give us four weeks and we should be there. And she kind of um, thinks to herself and she says the date of the calendar, whatever that would be, because I'm not uh. going to invent a calendar system now. And then she says, um, good, I will meet you four weeks from today in the morning and she just kind of nods look to the sunrise <laughs> yeah. okay. in the fourth week um, <laughs> she says I should be more than recovered by then and if I can track you down before then I will do my best to send word that I am well mm. that would be much appreciated I would advise that you keep this information to yourselves. My only concern is you mentioned you were required at the Citadel, did you not? And she kind of turns to reach. Yeah. We're not required, but we've... We, uh, we, we haven't been ordered to return, but it would be best for us to return. But that would also mean going way south to the abyss. Which, your help would be very useful there. They've got a massive portal there, which is probably might be the biggest mm. one. Yeah. I fear I may need some time yet before I would be capable yeah. of contending with that task. But I definitely will see what I can adapt to for that. Mm -hmm. In four weeks, then. She kind of looks every day. I'm just saying. Yes, in four yeah, weeks. Okay. And then, I wish you a quick recovery. I wish you safe travels. And she just vanishes and rainbow. Not taking the hammer then. Yeah. <laughs> and she could just wait for four weeks again. Yeah. <laughs> right with that. <laughs> I mean, realistically, it means he's could he's could hammer to the citadel. He's got four weeks, and then just hammer to the the hellhole. Realistically. Mm. But we've not been to the other hellhole, so how yeah, can we have I mean, it there? I mean, you tried that last time, right? He's got to a hellhole. Yeah. yeah. I'd probably rather get to the exact one. <laughs> <laughs> Do pretend what I will. You ones later on. <laughs> Eric, thank hellhole. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All of the hellholes appear next to you guys. I'm actually thinking you end up at NCR. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Stuart does not reflect the opinions of this channel. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whether true or otherwise. Now, yeah, so what's the plan? Right, so she vanishes in her golden light, or like, not golden light, or like rainbowy coloured light, sorry. Get my spell yeah. effects mixed up. Um, so, yeah. I'm all for just taking a stoat down to the portal, what's everyone else thinking? Why not? That's the best idea. That's the only idea we've got at the moment, so yeah, just stick with that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Eric? Yeah, uh, Eric? No, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> yeah. Eric nods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I love you, bro. Yep, so I think we'll just pack up and uh, start day in the boost. Yeah. Cool. Uh, who is going to navigate? Um, I think Kitty will be the best one for it. To yeah. um, Prob I... <laughs> probably Crumbar should, since he seems to know the most about the dangers of the giant's walk. Well, uh, what if we both do it? Then I will yeah, get, get advantage. More advantage. Yeah. yeah, go for it. Yeah. Uh, survival in it. Mm -hmm. uh, survival, yeah. Yeah, poorish. Right, okay. Plus two, so. Yeah. So cool. you make a good start. You pretty much know roughly where you're going anyway. You've still got the map she gave you anyway that still has it like magically marked, right? Because mm -hmm. you had the map of the two hellholes. Um, so yeah. And then you head off. And I'd say you probably make pretty good time. Yeah. Now, 
do you talk about anything on the the travels? I feel like there's maybe things to unpack. Have you mentioned things? Uh, probably not, uh, but I am beginning to get worried about, yeah, we could be making a an even more powerful wizard queen here, but that's, or sorceress queen, technically. That's, I do think we might need to be careful about Justoria. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so what is Kitty's view on that, right? Because obviously she did you a solid, right? So I think I'm just going to follow her into whatever <laughs> whether she ends up good or bad. She's got my vote. <laughs> I mean, okay. Better the devil you know, right? A little bit, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love it, which is like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Eric knows the Wizard King quite well. <laughs> Would you agree? <laughs> Probably not, but yeah. <laughs> This is just reach, just now, in the party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no! But yeah, and what about Crumbar? Like, obviously, I get that Crumbar is kind of... He gets where she's coming from, but then mm-hmm. there was that moment of, oh god, it's a fiend, a demon. Yeah, um... Obviously, I know that she's not lying to us. Like, if I hadn't done that um, insight check, things would be completely different. Mm-hmm. Um, but currently, kind of, Crumbar is just thinking he's like, right. She changed back that time, but what will happen? What will you know? It's more just well, think you know, back to we... the first time, right? Remember, she had a lot mm-hmm. of demonic reverb going through her the last time as well. Yeah. Um, it's basically what what Crumbar is try, more so trying not to think about is what he'll have to do if she doesn't change back. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's the worry. But then, do you think you can take her? Gonna have to try. I mean, I know somebody that can, right? What? That can take. Th- Princess Historia. Historia. Mm-hmm. That is true, but they were a big golden thingy with crowns that we don't have contact with. And I still have a feeling he's something to do with the Golden Order. Mm-hmm. Like, personally, I don't know if Crumbar would, but personally, I think. Shit, we should ask her about that, actually. Um, about what? About if she'd found any more information about. That guy that attacked her in in her home. Mm-hmm. I was thinking more about the person that solved that problem. The Wizard King. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like him though. I'd, <laughs> I'd, I'd just as soon or punch him. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, demon, but you 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 took her. Our, our child, so fuck you. It's not our child. Also, I love the that that kid we kidnapped from you. You yeah, took, back. took back. How yeah. dare you? How dare you kidnap that kidnapped child? <laughs> and but, the, but, all but under one son, all under the sun. So exactly. We we see him as a child. He sees him as an item. Maybe he just rescued him from us. Maybe oh, we're maybe. the villains. Maybe he's just loved him for 10 years and thought, no, that's definitely a thing. <laughs> Either way, I'd punch him anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what's going through my head anyway. Mm-hmm. Do you share any of those concerns though with the group or do you just keep them to I think that would just be an internal monologue. Because like I say, it's, he's trying more not to think about what he'd have to do. So I don't think it's something that he'd want to talk about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not exactly a nice thought, is it? Like, you know, no. who might I need to kill? <laughs> Especially since, um, you know, Crumbar really does like the story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's quite a likable person. Yeah, I think so. I am fond of her. The, um, yeah, like, I guess that's going to be an interesting thing, though, because let's look at Kitlith and her goal, right? Like, mm-hmm. what is your plan here, Kitlis? Well, nothing anymore. 
<laughs> That's what I mean, yeah, because like, your plan is to learn how to do the closing of the portals without her, right? Mm. Now, given what you've just witnessed, do you want to do that more so or less so, right? Because there's an argument for both. I mean, it would be cool, but then... Do you like get taken over by the demonic energy? Is it like a permanent thing? <laughs> yeah, it's there's there's questions and I mean yeah. I, I really just think that from my point of view, I really don't want to end up having to try and fight any more of my teammates, so can we just give that pesha by? Mm. But what if again Kitty learns how to like absorb right because that's the first thing you need to learn how to do something like that because you don't mm. have any like n natural abilities that let you soak that up and i think jumping into a hell pit is maybe a bad idea logistically yeah. um but if you were to absorb it yeah would you remain who you were would it overload you like you saw how much it wrecked her and she's like mm. what one of the best sorceresses in the land If you have to believe the know. PR, obviously. <laughs> um, well, she seems to be getting stronger with every time she does it. I mean, so she says, yeah. She feels like this is perhaps going to be a way that she could rival her father, right? Mm. So, you know, if it came down to it and he was, like, in collusion with the Red, she yeah. could at least hold her own if she's going to keep, like, taking this energy that's pushing through into this reality. Yeah. So that's something. Obviously, would it be wise for you to learn to do that? Who could say, right? Yeah. Um, I think what you've witnessed so far, that would suggest no. Yeah. Mm. Better not to risk it, really. Yeah. Plus, then you need to contend with Crumbar being shifty about a mistress of the flame and also... Uh, kitty of the hellhole right <laughs> so yeah it's tricksy it's a minefield you could say to navigate yeah a little bit mm. never mind the artifact attached to Eric's hammer you know the... what am I bond with a certain dragon eater <laughs> yeah right so yeah, or like the whole Decana thing, or the invitation to Omen for the family. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. So maybe that dungeon, you guys, maybe you just have that like, I don't know. We can narratively go a week. I don't want to do too much without Adri, obviously, yeah. in case there's a lot she wants to do. Um, or perhaps suggest things that would maybe deter you. So I don't think we're going to reach the hellhole tonight. Um, but... If there's anything else that you just want to do on the way, you just can let me know. Anything? Uh, uh, sure, going to be... Oh, uh, right, okay, I, so I, try. I think mm. I would just um, sit and do some more tuning towards my axe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, are you going to change its shape or are you going to keep it as is? No, I'm no, just going to keep it as is, but just just do some more tunes to, make, to, to have that option in future. Yeah, and I think there's um, especially can... I think it would be good as, to do that, especially after the uh, comment, uh, the story I made about it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Is this the after image? Hell, <laughs> Kitty! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's terrible. That's that, quite bad, that, you know? <laughs> that is stuff of fucking nightmares. I think I'm just yeah. gonna repost Reach's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah so like you can sit certain nights you can sit focus on the axe um, yeah like it's definitely got like familial vibes coming from it. it you definitely know it's you know if you were to look at somebody else in the tribe it's the same feeling you should get when looking at them right mm -hmm. so yeah it's essentially like you know having a member of the tribe with you Yay! Friend! Friends! Yeah, this weird twisted black and reddish axe. <laughs> Friend. Yeah. Friend. Uh, so you have that, and that's pretty much, like, 
you don't really get much more from it other than you kind of know all the details you know about it already. Yeah. Um. Obviously, it's quite a double-edged sword, as it were. Um. Given but it's an axe right now. Yeah. It's a double-edged sword. But, I do. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know. It's up to you if you. I don't know. Do you? You could mess around with it. You could test it out. I don't know. Like, what would you want from? This interaction with the axe? Oh no, just what I tell you. More, more or less, like outside of game wise, just unlock the other attunement stage. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's also just kind of, kind of study the thing, try and maybe like think about as well, like if I'd ever seen it before in the cat, like when the tribe and stuff. Mm -hmm. Or be like, is this, did this only happen once I left? Mm. Yeah, you've never seen anyone in the tribe use a weapon like this. Never. Yeah. Maybe even try and work out like what it's made of. Um I mean Yeah. Do you wanna give me an arcana check, I guess? Yeah. You can do it with advantage as well, because it's obviously connected to you and it's part of your tribe and all that nonsense, so Walk off the way. No. Fucker shite. <laughs> to magic axe. <laughs> it's a magic axe. It's black and red and shiny. A magic. Cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you know bugger all about it. You're not a magic man, let's face it. You're not like um nah. learning I'm gonna, in the ways I'm, of magic, I'm, I should say. I'm the, I'm just gonna shut up now. <laughs> yeah. What about the rest? Like what's gone through Eric's head when it comes to the fact that you've got a lot of things juggling at the moment as well. And now he's are planning a three week trek south to go to another hellhole and I hope Jastoria is going to meet you there even though you've got the possibility of your sisters being at the mercy of the wizard king yeah I think that's the I think that's at the forefront of his mind is his sisters so like how how far into the journey before it becomes a problem for you right um I guess it's always, it's always a problem for him. I guess it's slowly building the fact that the longer he waits, the less likely he'll get to see him again alive, at least. Um, have you charged your hammer since, or have you left it empty? It's still empty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look, are there any signs, like visibly, that like either Crumbar or Eric are? Like Kitty or Reacher kind of going through these, you know, oh god, what are we walking towards or what are we walking away from? It uh, would be a good ch idea to charge the hammer. So even having a house landing on us may be better than what could happen. Oh. In a certain niche circumstance, maybe. Oh, yeah. It is, yeah. Over well, surrounded by 50 people, a house landing on us would be pretty handy. That's... Depends whose house. Imagine yeah. if it. Dude, try and do it for the Wizard King's castle. <gasps> so, remember he tried... Yeah. Remember he tried that... Do you remember that entire episode where Celeste turned off and went, you just died? Yeah, no, no, but but mm -hmm. I'm not saying... No, not, he was trying to teleport to the castle. I'm on about teleporting the castle to us. Yeah, he... Muhammad to mountain thing. Uh, yeah, he didn't really even get that far in his attempt, though, did he? And then somebody stepped in. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Maybe just try it anyway, just so Celeste can show up and we'll be like, what the <laughs> fuck we meant to do, woman? I feel like if Eric remembers fondly his conversation with Celeste, he probably won't. And if he does, I'll just assign him a new character sheet now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. But it's still not a bad thing to bring up with Eric, right? As the Crumburst thought about utilizing the hammer either against the mm. Wizard King or to get to the family or in general. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, the risk is the fact that <laughs> people seem to want and not want that hammer. Right? Like here, here, <laughs> here is my thinking, guys, right? We're going to go from Nya to here. Then, obviously, well, I'm not going to do the entire route. We're then going to go from here. To here to sort out all the pish that's happening there, and then up 
afterwards, we're going to fill front and charge on a, I was going to say Osiris, what was Omen. it called? Omen. Yeah. And be like, I want my family back, bitches. And how long is that going to take, Grumbar? How, how long does, uh, do you think Eric will wait for that to happen? Because um, right now that plan yep. could be three days. No, no like, like I said, this is what my mm -hmm. thinking is what we're going to do. <laughs> you know? Doesn't yeah. necessarily mean everyone needs to fucking follow me. Yeah, it's an interesting one. I mean, I'm, I'm just thoughting about confused as to who I'm going to end up nearly having a conflict with next. <laughs> it's like, am I the only one that's not a demon? <laughs> I mean, Adria's not a demon. She just has a bit of, you know, of a following I'm, from hell. <laughs> I'm not a demon either. He says demon-like. <laughs> okay, Eric isn't a demon. <laughs> um... Yeah, like Eric's a stand-up guy, right? Just gets lost a couple of times. That's it. I do. Like this, Mac is having a part of place. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow always end up naked. Yep. Although I think you're still wearing the blue robes the like your story gave you, right? Uh, I maybe. think so as well. I think so. I might have changed into my Rainwood stuff when we got yeah, back yeah. to the estate. You probably would have, uh, right? You probably went back to the um, the Rainwood yeah, estate exactly. and you just you slept there, right? So, yeah, yeah, you probably would have changed. I think I said you couldn't have brought them with you though, as a change of clothes. True. I want a spare set of clothes with me from my place, <laughs> just in case. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, what? What's next? You can carry on towards the hillhole um, if there's no more conversations. Because I don't mind actually just narratively doing that if he's one. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't yeah. really have, have any more. Other than possibly you teaching Adri uh, Inferno, there isn't really yeah, anything else. But so for that not really here, so. Yeah, but not really here. Yeah, but there so is. So you can backtrack that a wee yeah, bit. Yeah, I don't maybe. mind. If, like we can oh, definitely yes. go back and have a roll for that. That's because yeah. I mean, there's going to be four weeks worth of time, right? I'm just guessing, but there's probably yeah, she's probably going to want to yeah. Yeah. Um, right, can I get some survival then for the next leg of the journey? Ba -da 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 -da. Oh no! <laughs> oh. Luckily. So, remember, we're rolling with advantage. In your oh, help. Jesus. Yeah. So like, Kitty goes to help and just forward rolls. <laughs> 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 Ta-da! Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Then, um, yeah, Crumbar rescues the day. Mm. And uh, maybe he's just remembering all those times he learned how to avoid the route the old man Jet took going through the Citadel. So he wouldn't <laughs> get caught up in a conversation where the guy's uh... like, Oh, this, this stonework takes me back to when this, uh, you know, old emperor used to do blah, 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 blah. It's just all fabricated. Um, but yeah. Um, you, I guess we'll just, like, but screw Adri, she's missed a session. So you get <laughs> up to the location, you start to notice all the telltale signs of um, the hellhole, like the, the slightly warped land. Um, like, things near rivers, like um, like dead plants and such. Uh, you also notice the body of a dead giant. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, Investigate him. Anything on him and what did he die of, can you think? Yeah, general investigation. Investigation, first of all. Do, 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 do. And, yeah. Oh, man. He has a giant club. Right. Can I see if he's a primal giant at all? If he's a primordial giant, sorry. Yes. Um, I mean, they're all kind of primordial to like a non-scholar so what do you mean by that do you mean is like he what? like a fire giant or a yeah what? exactly that um yeah do you want to roll arcana or nature whatever one it's giant 
It's big. And it seems dead. Hmm. <laughs> I'm probably not even sure of that, we're judging by those <laughs> <people. laughs> can we Can we tell what it died from? Uh, it's like heads near the river. Like wet, like its hair's wet because it's in the river. So it's probably been drowned then. No, it's probably drinking. <laughs> Is the river like tainted? Uh, weirdly, really nice crystal clear water. I don't trust it. Don't drink it. Any bruises or anything on the back of the giant's head? Can he, was it pushed to hell? <laughs> Not with a seven. <laughs> 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 Uh, nothing you can tell. Maybe the the thing's been dead for a while, right? So you can't tell that anymore. Can we loot it? Does it have any like, little satchels? It has a giant club. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm. I... I mean, I don't really think there's much we can learn from it. Can we take its toes and sell them? That's so grim. Like, like, who would, like, need, who you would want buy to cut them? off his toes? Alchemists. <laughs> it's just. I think Callum's just been watching The Witcher a lot. I haven't really seen The Witcher yet, so. You should, because you'd, you'd fit right in with that attitude. <laughs> Almost finished the book again, and I'm like, nah. I'm just over halfway in the book, and I'm loving it. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so Eric says we could cut off his toes and sell them. Simply <laughs> else's reaction is she's all slow turn and look. I'd sort of like slow turn and then be like, eh, yeah, I guess we could. I think we have enough money. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Never enough money. <laughs> <laughs> I mutter into my breath. <laughs> uh. Mr. Krabs. <laughs> <laughs> Money! <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd just kind of say it's like... It's just a dead giant. Let's keep moving on. Yeah. And, uh, let's pick up peace and head on, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is like... Is there most of the way there? I, I mean, maybe yeah. approach, maybe carry on with a bit more caution as yeah dead giant yeah yeah, yeah. um I don't mean a living giant but also the one me what killed the dead mm. one so yeah you start to head closer to the direction you think the hellhole seems to be you just look for the you know what's the word i'm looking for here the slightly Flaming. more <laughs> yeah like the giant pillar of fire the, the oh, dead yeah. animals yeah, yeah the um yeah. Decay. Yeah, general decay, yes. Yeah, it was concentration was the word I was looking for, the concentration of the right. kind of decay and whatnot. So you head towards that direction. Um like you say on the approach cautiously, in what way are you approaching cautiously? Not banging pots and pants, obviously, but crumbar walking is kind of that. Um just kinda trying to be a bit more perceptive about what's around us and stuff. Like I looking up for any more you know, things like, I don't know, a dead giant or any kind of signs that the land's been tampered, like, under distress or... So subtle signs like dead giants, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so you head over, um, do you want to start rolling, you know, perception then, Cumber? Do, 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 do. Where... Ah, crap, I forgot to take off advantage. It's okay, didn't it? Anyway? 16, yeah. So, yeah, you look around and all the same signs as when you approach the direwood are there. Mm. I'll just say to the group, so I'm just like, we're definitely getting closer now. We should ready ourselves for what's ahead. And everyone ignores me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too busy thinking about chopping off toes for money. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking. Yeah, just keep our eyes out, I guess. Yeah, that's what we need to keep heading on anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, are you just going to try and approach stealthily, or are you just going to 
Hayden. It's pointless with Crumber, like you say. Hey, that one. But it's stealth, so stealthy. Yeah. yeah. That's all I know, obviously, for that reason. <laughs> Primarily because you do have a, a Crumber. Hey! You sound that like it's a bad thing. No, I'm saying you have disadvantage in all stealth checks. Because of your armor. But. But. We have Kitty, which yep. would give us advantage, so it would balance out to normal. How would she give you advantage on stealth? Well, I, I thought you were on about. I, I, thought, <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you were just on about the, the group in total. No, we all have to make a stealth roll. Yeah, you would all make a stealth roll, and then the right, worst I, I, result I, I, is the one I take because you're a group. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, sorry about that, guys. I can't, can't really help. And the guy leading us in the direction mm. at the front is the noisiest, so yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let, let's just. Who needs, who needs if, stealth? If Crumbar's about to stealth, he's like this. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, everybody else just want to give me, and obviously Crumbar do yours with a disadvantage. Um, do, 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 how do you disadvantage? No need to upload it, boys. <laughs> wow. In fact, oh. I'm, I'm still rolling just to... You still need to, yeah. Oh, holy fuck, I rolled a 21 and a, uh, and a 14. Man, when he rolls the second best in the party that. with disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear God. So I love how I'm more stealthy than Kitty. Yeah. Your God, maybe it's because turn around to you to go shh. <laughs> just you hear the sawing noises of that giant's toe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you head up. You go through the like like mountains and whatnot, and because um, this is relatively high up, like so you're kind of like following the river up the the mountain, and like the the land is all warped and twisted, and there's dead animals everywhere, and like quite a lot of decay to a lot of them um like they've they've obviously just like broken away not so much that things have came and eaten like eaten them it doesn't even look like um decay in the sense of maggots have gotten in and like chewed them to bits or whatever it, it seems more just like they've broken apart um as if like the land has been drained of life and yeah you just get to the point where you are about to like come into full visual range of, I guess, what, ground zero, and you hear, there is no need to hide, come forth. I'm not hiding. And you hear Magna's voice. Bastard! <laughs> oh, Give uh... me my sister back, you prick! Are you actually saying that to him? Yeah. For oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> so Please. Like, so like Eric, you just like burst through into the clearing? Yes. Yeah, and there is um, very much just uh, inactive, like, pit in front of him. Inactive? Uh, yeah. No call the fire. It. it is mm. completely, completely dead, as it were. And uh, he kind of just turns around, and like as you're halfway through your insults, he actually just casts silence on you. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Teaches that one, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, I'll just um say, what are you doing here? I don't answer to you, Paladin. We seem to cross paths once more. Why are you here? I just kind of... I flip him the bird. I... <laughs> I kind of look, look around, uh, like, look at the kind of party and then just look back at him and go, I don't answer... You know, I don't answer to you. <laughs> I love the kind of almost childlike. Well, fuck no, you. 
No, no, fuck no, no, better you. yet. No, better <laughs> yet, he's like, he said, I don't answer to you, pal. pal and I go, I don't answer to you, king. Uh. <laughs> Can I take one or two seats of possession? You kind of do, but. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Not really, because then mm. the Golden Order and the king are kind of. <laughs> Not enemies, but they're not really. So let's. I'll do a historical aside for you here, Scott. Right, just so you fully about. Keep in mind, Crumbar can think what he wants, but mm -hmm. the Great Gold Worm does not answer to Magna. Yes, yes. Citizens of it. the kingdom do, insofar as they are citizens of the kingdom. Mm, so it's okay. up to you if you consider Crumbar a citizen of the kingdom. However, no, while you're having that. that internal monologue, and you no, say, I'm a I, while you're having that internal monologue, and you say to him, obviously the I don't yeah. answer to you, King, his reply is, do you not consider yourself under the protection of my rule, then? I'll just say back to him, it's like, the great gold worm protects me. You see just visual disgust creep over <laughs> his face. And he actually spits to the side into like where the hellhole would have been. Where is your god? That is not for you to know. And I don't think you know either. Where is this self-proclaimed deity when this world is tearing itself apart? I, I I just gesture towards like me in the party. <laughs> Hello. Wait. <laughs> Turns out we like, were parts of the dragon the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> On the lag. <laughs> Quick party members. We're a joke. We like the Power Rangers. Or Voltron. Uh, the boss is the body, you know, or something like that. And that would have been all parts coming oh, down. For, the form head. Voltron. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> Do I have a, a Voltron GIF I can show? Nah, I don't have one. There we go. There, there, there's at least a GIF of Voltron. Yay! Um, but yeah, so he says that, and then you'd like motion to the party? Yeah, just kind of like, so he's basically been like, where's your where's your self-proclaimed god? I'm like, where, when the word needs him, I'm like, well, we're here. Like, that's, and because and, we're here, we, and we, basically being like, we are the great gold worm. Uh, kind of because we obviously serve him and bloody bloody you know it, it's a metaphor or a gesture or whatever yeah and then um, what's his what reaction to that besides visual discomfort yeah just mostly discomfort but yeah well, I'd rather not upset the big bad wizards the big strong wizards yeah. I'm, I'm not I'm looking to throw him a hammer at his head. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's more so I'm trying to make him understand that I like I don't I don't reckon like you know, I'm not just gonna bow down and be like, oh, oh yes me lord, blah 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 blah. <laughs> Your highness tips fedora. Yeah. <laughs> basically. Crumbar's like, where do I keep getting these fedoras? <laughs> Into the bag. <laughs> It's like yeah. it's like that kind of way he was basically because he was like I don't answer to you I'm like well to be quite frankly I don't answer to you either. So yeah, he obviously bringing us back to the conversational point then. So you just motion to the party while we're here. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. And he says, so it seems that you have arrived suspiciously late. What's suspicious about it? What exactly did you expect to find here? Never mind, achieve. I think you know fine well what we were, we're, we're we're wanted the key of the land to see what it was. Yeah. What was yeah. causing it? I mean, that's not what I was going to say, but okay. Uh, that's why we just spoke over you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that, like the idea, like how that played out in my head as I've went to speak and reaches just kind of like so stepped good. in front of me and just kind of yeah. tried to put, push me behind and be like, yeah, don't listen to him right now. 
Yeah, it's very much um, Benedict Cumberbatch trying to stop Tom Holland spoiling all the Avengers things in interviews. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, so fun. Yeah, and uh, the Wizard King obviously looks at you, Reach, and he says, "Your God should be more mindful of the world he so eagerly wants worship from." And he kind of looks more at the pit, and he kind of like crouches down, and he like picks up like ashes from the pit where the fire would have been. He just starts like letting it fall through his hands. What was this? <laughs> kind of like maybe about fifteen seconds pass or whatever, like however long you're willing to leave it pass, and then he kind of like drops like all the ash and kind of like wipes his hands clean, stands back up. And keep in mind, this guy is like shirtless at the top yeah. with his like purple robes and his silver affectation. And he's no between those hands. Yeah. And he, well, he just wipes them on each other. And he <laughs> stands back up. And he says, We are done. And then he vanishes. Yeah. Wait. Can I speak again? Wait, yeah. I was going to say, you, please As soon as, soon as it goes, you can speak. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> I mean, yay. <laughs> <laughs> but, aww. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, yeah, but that was just funny. If anything, it was just a narrative reason to give Calum a break from actually speaking. <laughs> <laughs> we have now got another method of closing these ho- hell holes. We just need to annoy the Wizard King when we're near one. That's... Assuming he closed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's assuming. Yeah. At least it's closed, but yeah. what, where's Jostoria? He didn't look half as bad as Jostoria did, though. Uh, so... No, he didn't even look phased at all. Yeah. But yeah, that is a very good point. Where is Jostoria? Mm. Yeah, because she was meant to have met us there. Yeah. To be fair, I was half expecting her to wait a wee bit to see what happened before appearing. I think I think we should camp here for a wee while. Does it Are feel bad? Okay? This place obviously is kind of yeah, uh, run down a bit. But yeah, it's the same vibe it... as the see the the dire wood itself. It is right. the same vibe. The mountains like it reeks of death. I'm bored in yeah. yeah, it's. I mean, you could camp here. It's just not going to be comfy. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it would be it... potentially risking exhaustion. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, maybe we should try and head for greener pastures for to rest a bit easier, and and stay we... there a day or so. Yeah. Is there any signs that there's been like a fight here or anything like that? Because every other portal would be Bones, the same. Bodies, anything like that, yeah. Nothing yeah. like that. Nope. It's just like this big pit of ash in the middle. No lumpy bits in the ash, not just. Like... <laughs> no, it's um. Imagine a bomb has went off that was sitting on the ground. So, it's that kind of effect where there's just blackness spreading out. Um, like at like burnt ground or charcoal or whatever. Any dead shadows ground. on the ground? Nope. <laughs> no, nothing like that. No, like uh, flashpoints or anything. No. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the only only thing you can probably see is the fact that the Wizard King's like feet print are there, and obviously when he was right. leaning down, picked up obviously yeah. the ash, and vanished, and then obviously you guys having walked in. Mm. But yeah, maybe that's something you notice as soon as you like take a couple of steps. You notice that yeah, you're leaving footprints. Mm. Right. Okay, so yeah, they didn't want kapow, did everything, or or it was all done for them before. It yeah. definitely did not look like a big giant demon thing, either. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But... Do you have been good, Crumber? Not to retroactively play your character, but see if you used your divine sense when he was there. That'd have been good. Ah, oh, that would have been good. Mm. Mm. God damn it! But now he definitely seems aware of these, right? Mm-hmm. But then maybe that could be said that the army went back to Omen and reported what they found. That yeah, it's also true. But you know. I feel like you're trying to get me to like this guy. I'm <laughs> not. A... I'm just telling you things that might <laughs> occur to you. Because you're aware mm. that the army were heading that way. 
they probably got back to Omen quicker than you got here, so... More so our job's pretty much done here, but, like, my worry is, like, what's going through my head is what if Justoria got here first and he's done something to her? Mm -hmm. Or what if Justoria got here close to it and something happened to her? Or maybe she successfully reversed it? Like, we just don't know. Mm hmm Probably go to the fire now. Uh, yeah, since it's not like the yeah, yeah. Out. Right. <laughs> right, indeed. I'll put that wee triangle up here as well, just so you know that there was one there. Ah, uh, yeah, thank you. No problem at all. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so it's just like, it's a bit like an ash crater. That's what you're standing in. Guys, what you thinking? <laughs> the abyss is the only thing we've got left at the moment. Mm -hmm. Or omen. Omen sounds a bit ominous, but uh. I mean, like, if we if we just leave, just throw your show up, be like, oh portal is closed and then I'm guessing she would just leave herself I think she will show up where we are well yeah she may not be able to track us at this point yeah so she mm -hmm. probably shows up here but yeah well I mean is is that not the place where Justoria stays yeah it is that's Good horizon head, um, but we're going to have tr trouble talking to her yeah but I'm stubborn as fuck so I'll just barge in I'm wondering if we can Barge into a magic go... place that's got random uh, holes. Yeah. holes and... <laughs> I'm just, you know, you know what Welcome I'm thinking. Welcome to the kaleidoscope. <laughs> is it we, let's go to Horizon and then, or I say, yeah, you know, we go find somewhere to rest up. Then we come back here and see if she shows up. If she does, great. If not, move on and maybe she... go to her. Could probably take us somewhere else quickly. Yeah. See, that's what I'm thinking as well. Is like, if she does show up, she's she got could, that magic. She doesn't yeah, need to she use. Could, okay. Yeah. So she could maybe even just take us straight to the citadel. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, ever tra travel by rainbow? <laughs> <laughs> Only on LSD, but yeah. <laughs> Drugs are bad, kids. Don't take them. All of this assumes nothing happened to her. Yeah, I know. Yeah, um, yeah. I am trying to stay. I am trying to stay a positive crumbar. Good. Right. Best. So we're going to go away. Probably come back tomorrow. Spend the day here, and we'll see after that what we're going to do. Yeah. Does that sound yep. reasonable? Yeah. Yeah, and you can easily get like it takes up maybe like less than a, a full day travel to get like out of the dead zone, as it were. So you right. can easily head out of the dead zone, rest. Head back in, if he's wanted. Right. Definitely. Cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Just head back in. That sounds good. There's no sign of just area. I think we just kind of wait the day here. Yeah. Wait the day anyway. Mm -hmm. Yep, and you just wait the whole day. Guess what? There's still no sign of just story. No signs of just area. Do 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 do. Well, I'd go here. I don't. Where are we? We're, yeah, we're at that one, aren't we? Uh, hey, yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. that one. Yeah. Right. Here's what I'm thinking. Use one. Some of us could wait here. Some of us could go to Horizon. Never split the army <laughs> until you know the disposition of the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, do that, and then you use can like whoever goes to Horizon can try and see Justoria, and then whoever waits here can see if she shows up. And then if Eric goes to Horizon, 
he can hammer back here and pick us up. Hmm. I would say we all go to the horizon. Uh, yeah. 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 Just um, think what happens if there's no Chistoria there and there's no Chistoria here. Uh, well, obviously. Then that's when we'd know something's happened there. Yeah. Also, it might be awkward to try and find out if the story is there. Yeah. It's shit that we just have no way of contacting her. Do Londoners know when the Queen's in? <laughs> For example. That's, yeah. Um, the curtains are drawn. <laughs> right. Milk bottles are out. Yeah. <laughs> the only... Send your corgis. <laughs> That's the thing, though, right? Is because I mean, like, you have area about, who has sorry. trade agreements, right? Mm. Even yeah, if I'm there's no trade happening, mm. there is an agreement. I was gonna say, how about instead of traveling there, we just hammer there? Because that would be instant. Eric, how's your hammer? <laughs> I'm judged. Uh, it could be charged too easy. How you feel about using it? I don't know what it will do, but we can try it. <laughs> I mean, with the hammer, could we not also teleport just straight into the palace? Yeah, but what bit in the magical palace do you teleport to? The office. Do you remember when Kitty rolled perception in the office and got nausea? Mm. And she tried to look at the fact that the room shouldn't be 3D. I've never seen that number on that dice, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a very special dice. <laughs> but, um, or even, yeah. out, even at least just outside the palace. I would say teleporting into Horizon's a bad idea, right? I think I said that before as well. Um, but you are right. Okay. Eric's done. We have to still have a good way to talk to her if she's there because we yeah. do. Yeah, the trade agreement. At the very least, we need to tell the trade agreements on pause. Which well, she would be she told feasible. you that. But yeah, Aye, but the yeah, rest but, of the palace don't know mm -hmm. that. You know, so we can go around and. I mean, you have Lord Rinwood, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Like it's in the Rinwood name, so yeah, you have yeah. the let's go to the office of the princess, so you can easily go there. And that's no, yeah. that's not as suspicious, except the fact that it depends how stupid you think Magna is. Given that he's just seen you walk to a portal, and then set up a trade agreement, and then teleported your house, and then has your family, you know, it just depends what you think Magna thinks is going on, because he kind of doesn't really seem to care about you guys. I would, yeah, I'd be surprised if he cares I mean, much about us at all. And also, though, is he actually listening in to all of our conversations? That's going to be one noisy head he's got. One, on one side, yes, because I'm him, but on two, he's not <laughs> metagaming. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, it could just be... Every it, conversation. It could really just be that he doesn't even see us as a threat. Yeah. But if that was the case, why would he have taken Eric's family? But again, Other than yeah. the fact that he's a dildo. He keeps saying he took Eric's family he, like it was he a kidnapping. Saved. Yeah. Whereas just well, was like, so you're saying my dad rescued your sisters from your own folly and you're saying he kidnapped them despite he invited you to come to where they are. Not come here oh, with a bag of gold. Oh, that's a very good point. Yeah. The other thing is, though, he did try and go there where they were, and he died. Well, but if that was the case as well, why didn't he stay in there? Why would he? Like, Eric just started Cause... shouting profanities at him. Mm. He's a king. You don't get to talk to a king that way, right? It's like, I do. <laughs> he did. <laughs> uh, but okay. Uh... So, like, at the moment, you have knowledge that something's happening at the Citadel, right? Big meet up at the Citadel. But that was obviously like four weeks ago or more, right? Um, then there is the invitation to Omen that Eric has. He's going to head to Horizon to check in in Gestoria. Because, yeah, that's valid. 
Um, you've got the find me message in Reach's book. Mm -hmm. And I guess Celeste is worth mentioning just for the quest log. So, yeah. I mean, the find me must be er uh, must be Aramos. <laughs> it must be, yeah. must be Eric. There you are. Um but yeah, so it just depends what he's on to pursue, right? Um I say we can take all and set up. If you're walking there though, horizons on the way. I think I do agree, go to horizon at the moment. That's uh, that's the first and obvious thing. But then that would incriminate Gestoria, though. It wouldn't. It would. Could also. It's the closest town. We could have a uh, buying rations and other things there as well. Yeah, look, there's an, there is enough to not just. As long as you're not like banging on the palace door, shouting "Hold Gestoria, get your ass out here!" Like, yeah. I think you could easily go. Eric could go check in on the trade agreement, and it, as long as there's like an official paper trail, like yeah, yeah none of that's specifically suspicious. Yeah. It is the closest place. Or you and could also, use... if we're going to the abyss after that, we could get a boat ride from there around. Yeah, because you can take a boat from Horizon well. to the Citadel port. Yeah. Yeah. A little harbour town. There's lots of reasons for it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And it would be a bit safer to travel by boat than it would be um, <laughs> through that particular part of the land. Yeah. Which is at the least about be... 10 sessions worth of combat. Ten. Okay. I suppose we've only been attacked once on a boat, so and that was two sessions worth of one one combat. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the boat is safer than uh, the land. That's why all the seas are magically like controlled because it is just safer. Yeah, I don't think boats like us. <laughs> I mean, only one boat didn't like you. Yeah, Eric never really finished the boat ride on the second time. <laughs> <laughs> His backpack did though. Still going. <laughs> nah, it's probably been swiped long before. Um, so yeah, what's the what's the consensus? I use walking to horizon. I use hammering to horizon. I, th I think we, I think we should hammer. Because Eric has hammered to horizon before. He's managed to get to you guys in the gardens before. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And you have hammered away from there in the kind of market plaza. <laughs> That's how you say it. I mean, it's a magic town. Everything's weird there, right? It'd just be if there was followers of like Janus, maybe they would recognise how you did it. But that's unlikely in this day and age. <sighs> so much Ajah Muhammad then. Yep. It looks like it, buddy. <laughs> now we get the Eric charging the hammer theme. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> how is um? What's the destination? Um, are we going into Horizon, or do we want to be outside of Horizon? I'd say outside horizon. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, uh, yeah, do it, but yeah, to be fair, people teleporting in horizon would be the one say they would expect it, but yeah, that's easy, easy, but nearby. Okay. Yeah. I don't know about it. Plus, he's walked in and out of horizon anyway, because when he's travelled south, he's left, like, you know, by the gates, so. Yeah. yeah. I'll think of the south gate then. Yeah. And do you want to smack the hammer? Yeah. Everybody look up and get ready. <laughs> cool. So you yeah, hit the really. ground, everyone stands around you, and you all fall into the red hole. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And uh, are you coming too? Yep, sure I am. Cool. And you go. And uh, so you mean she's finally woken up? <laughs> she's actually. <laughs> <laughs> she's hanging out in the backpack. Um, 
Yeah, I think we'll end on that because it's more interesting to see if he's uh, actually get there or not. Yeah. There we go. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we get our dun 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 ending. Right, what we're we calling it. What is the name of this wonderful session? Mm. Everything's a demon. <laughs> <laughs> Silence is a virtue. Something about giant <laughs> Uh, right, so let's review what happened then for naming conventions. So, Destora showed up, drained the portal, looked a bit demony. He's all slept, had a wee chat. He then went for four weeks south, hoping to meet her again, and her dad was there, being like, why are you here? And then he left. And then you have decided to like hammer to Horizon, because she wasn't there. So... Hmm. Uh, Oh, with Demon Princess. That's one. Oh. Yeah, well, I must, must spell that bulky. <laughs> uh, oh, Demon Princess sounds very. I thought they said waifu wizards. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that... Wa waifu wizards? Yeah. I mean, I was going to say, I mean, maybe if Cromer plays his cards right with Jastoria, right? <laughs> yeah. Yay, waifu wizards. <laughs> so, um, any other suggestions? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Toes for profit is horrible. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's horrible so us. horrible. I mean, it's good to know Eric's mindset, you know? What if we cut off the toes of giants for profit? <laughs> well, I mean, it's already dead. It'd just be a waste. Put a head. <laughs> Yeah, but depending on what killed it, imagine somebody used it in some kind of alchemical thing and then you got your zombie apocalypse, right? Uh, true. <laughs> Dipping toes. Oh. <laughs> this sounds like you've cut them off to eat them now. <laughs> God, it's so one, gross. Two. One, two, three, four. One, one. There's another one. There's another one. One, two, three, four. We're only aware of four at the moment. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. ah. Two out of four. That's where we are in the game at the moment. Ah, the fourth story. one being the abyss. Yeah, yeah. Think oh, okay. yeah um... The third one's still closed. We don't know how we got closed, but it's still closed. Sure, mm -hmm. that. Actually, I thought it. Is it three out of four at the moment? Are all three of the ones. Yeah. Small portals that we've noticed all closed, yeah. Assuming none open back up, yeah. Yeah, actually we're three out of four, aren't we? Right, okay. Mm. Three down uh, also is valid as a name because it also is the the trio uh, went south too. Yeah, three down, yeah. Mm. Or, that's actually made me think of friend or fiend. Mm. That kind of sums up what happened this session, right? Oh, yeah. Friend well, or just a, same idea, but a geeky way of doing that. <laughs> dum, dum. <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm up for either of those, if you are. Oh, I'm using those as well. That's what we've got. Kitlis voting. Do you prefer that one, or do you prefer the one with the brackets? Uh, to be. Mm, that one, for me. Yeah. Okay. I like friend or Come on, I like geek, so I'm quite <laughs> I'm easy as well. I'll <laughs> abstain. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Because I probably would have voted that one too. <laughs> so we'll do friend or fiend. Because um, it's like friend or foe. So I like that. Uh, right, so we got ourselves a session title friend or foe or fiend even. I can't even remember it. Uh, right, so goals. Let's review them. Eric, work out who Decana is slash was. Like you brought her up, yeah. which was oh, good. Oh. Like that, she was brought up in the conversation yeah, with Justoria. Um, I think if you start to actually 
piece together some of the overarching puzzles, then yeah, you could probably try and chase down a lead. Um, might make it work with Crumbar in that one, since Crumbar has a lot of the Kana information as well. I know Scott's panicking going, do I? But he does. <laughs> um, then Arya's goal obviously isn't specifically complete yet, but could retroactively have been completed if she wants to have done that. Um, depending on how well the rolls go, we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, we might even do that during the goal section next week to have given her a chance to clear it and make a new one if she wants. Mm -hmm. We'll see how that goes. Um, Eric, were you wanting to change your goal or are you happy as is for the moment? Happy with it, with it as it is. Okay. Uh, Crumbar, find out information about the Red Robe Man. I actually kind of think you've you have found out information. But I have found if you out think, information. But um, is it what you wanted to know? Of. Yeah. Because like you tell I me, do you feel like it's you've not? Got... It's it's not what I wanted to know, but it's still useful for information. But what is it you wanted to know? That's probably a better way of. I want I want to know who he is. Okay. So what have you learned so far? So I've learned that he is. I'm assuming some kind of priest of that follows the uh, red dragon. Mm -hmm. He's um, probably the top priest or second. Yeah, top, at he, least. He, he's definitely a head honcho, but it's like I want to kind of find out like a name and where he came from, you know, like more personal details. Okay. I'm really you thinking. Find him on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Slate. I just. I want to find out who he, who he is and basically how I can how I can get to him so that I can then, you know, kick him in his stupid scrotum face. Well, I think you've done your goal, right? Because you did find out I, information about the red robe man. I would I say will, that's done. I will, I will take that then. So move that into the completed list. See, the only way you can get possibly more is if we go to the city to the north and ask them about the red dragon, which is a wee bit dangerous, but yeah. I guess we'll find yeah. out. We are adventurers. <laughs> we want to know about the red dragon, the one nobody likes. <laughs> Funny enough, that kind of has already crossed my mind. Yeah. So experience-wise, I think that's, what, 250 each? Yeah. Yeah. It's um, whatever times your level, right? 50 times your level. So so what are we at now? Uh, three become... Four, like 600. Yeah, 600. So one to 600. Yeah. It's not bad. One to 600. And, um, 1400 is it? What, what do we need? Seventeen. It's fourteen thousand. I mean, isn't it that we need? I think it mm. is fourteen thousand. I don't quote me on that, but I think it is. It's something like that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So he's actually not that far off it, to be honest. Uh, what are you going to do with your your goal slot then, Crumbar? Do you have anything in mind? Because, um, like, um, based on what you've said, right? So you found out information about the Red Robe Man. Now you could, I don't know, use what I found out to put a na like maybe put a name to the Red Robe Man. Is that maybe mm. a better goal? Yeah, I like that. Um, leave Just it with me, and I think. <laughs> Not name I'll, I'll, the red robe man. <laughs> I'll think of one for ne next week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Kitlith. Figure out yeah. how to close hell holes slash portals without Justoria. Do you well, think I mean... that? I mean, you could still pursue it, but it means you would actually right. have to pursue it, right? Uh, I mean. Argue done as well to be honest see i think it's but been done what are you you can't do it yourself but you may do know now that the wizard king more than likely can do it that is not knowing though yeah right. well the thing is though she was saying try and find a way to close the portals without uh justoria we found out that we can't there isn't a way that we can do it where do, oh, no in fact wait what what is your actual yeah. As, yeah, find out how but, to close the hell, but yeah, just without, uh, so it's not how she can close them. Uh huh. And the thing is, as well, that last hell hole he's visited is the reason why the goal isn't working at the moment. Because mm. I don't mean the goal doesn't work, I just mean you just don't have answers to either rule it out or complete it because you just don't know what happened to that last hell hole. 
you just have ideas, but the ideas are mm -hmm. Jastori turned up and did it, Jastori turned up and fucked it up, Jastori had nothing to do with it. Magna turned up and did it, maybe they turned up together and did it, maybe it just closed on its own. Right? Yeah. Like you actually do not know. But you can guess at answers and try and pursue things, but you don't know. So if this goal, because this goal has been around for a wee while, almost as long as get word to the Great Goldworm, and at no point have I seen Kitty pursue it. Well, apart from yeah, when point. I asked the asked your story. Yeah. So you asked her, but that would still be her showing you how to do it. Can you see? Well, yeah, but the way that the like, way I thought she wasn't was willing like, to tell you, right? And I think you guess yeah. why. You can guess why, given what you witnessed of her. <laughs> that was yeah. not a princess look you want. Um, however, you would now need to then pursue this goal, if that makes sense from now. Mm, completely sans Jastori. Like, asking Jastori doesn't complete this goal. If you had been taught how to do it, came to this third hellhole, let's say it was in the full swing, and you absorbed the thing and somehow survived, it's a lot of ifs. Mm. Maybe? You could have closed off the goal. But I don't think from where you are now to where that version of you is, is, what, 15 levels away? Damn. Right? Realistically, given what you're looking at doing. Yeah. Um, you can reword the goal, you could pursue something totally different, or you could pursue the exact wording of that goal, which is still doable, but you'd need to go elsewhere. Mm. Like literally saying, hey, Magna, any chance you could help me close the other things that are maybe opening up around the world that your daughter totally didn't suggest? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because that would be you pursuing a way to do it without her. But that's assuming he can do it. Yeah. And obviously, do you think he's stupid enough to eat demonic energy? Yeah, he's <laughs> power hungry. But he is powerful already, right? Um, Like when... Crumbar was talking about what's the next step up from Jastoria, that guy with the gold crowns. But then Magna turned up and just went, hold on a minute, clicked his fingers and, you know, stopped it in its tracks, quite frankly, because it was hurting his door. So he yeah. seems powerful already, right? He's also powerful enough to, like, claim dominion over the land, even though there's an elf queen and a dwarf king and a city of dragons with, like, a dragon emperor. So... Mm. Yeah, it's it's an interesting one. So, for that goal to go anywhere, you would need to pull the party, I would say, in the direction of let us find a way we can close these and actually seek yeah. out help. Because the thing is, though, right, the red robe man might even be able to do it. But why would he? Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, if you could find a like, figure out how to do it, isn't you doing it? Right? Because the goal isn't saying, I want to close them. It's figuring out how you could. So you just need the knowledge of how to do it. So I would say it's still worth pursuing, but it actually involves pursuing it. Whereas this session was you waiting when you were at a portal, waiting for just story who you know can close them, even though it's a bit iffy. And we're like, can you show me how to do what you do? And she was like, you don't want that, trust me, honey. <laughs> Even though she didn't say that, she just looked at you and went, maybe in a few levels time. <laughs> um, but there's like, you are magical, right? You have magical abilities. Um, and the thing is, you studied it. You're like, you're a wizard more than a sorcerer, right? So mm. you learned how to do everything you can do with magic. So Kitty is able to, like, to smart out magical problems because of that. You're a very savvy person. But you'd need to pursue somebody or the knowledge of it or even go to a library. Do you know what I mean? There would need to be something mm. that is you actively walking the path of that goal. Much like how Reach sent off a letter and is just hoping one day that he'll get the receipt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but that isn't, and as I said to uh, Stuart many, many moons ago, I'm not just going to auto complete that when I know if the Great Gold Worm gets that information or not. Because mm. he wouldn't know. He wouldn't know, no. Yeah, so it's not like, you know, in a video game where if something auto-completes in the distance, your quest log updates, you know. 
it doesn't work that way, sadly. And some goals might just not work. And this is the tricky bit about the goal system. Me saying a goal is good or bad kind of tells you information about the game. Mm. So there are things I will be vague with. There are times I'll say you probably want to make that a bit more specific or less specific. Um, do you know what I mean? It's, it's tricky. Yeah. But I would say your goal is pursuable. That's what I would say. Like, you could find a way to do this. Well, and, we side thing, by the way, everybody with hit dice, you're at maximum now because we've had oh, yeah. three weeks. Yeah. Right, just to. Four, but yeah. <laughs> Four, right. Just remember that. I was, yep. I was down one. From, right. Remember that for when Adri's here as well, if we're all mm. here next week. Because, um, yeah, I'll forget that. Or if Adri, if you're listening now, you could probably fool everything, I imagine. Um, I think the only person that will be doing anything at the moment is Eric for charging the hammer. That's sort of the only drain on the party, um, besides resources, obviously. I just assumed their survival checks got his food on the way here until he's got to the Deadlands. Now, as for that, Kitty, do you want to keep it as is? Do you want to reword it or tweak it? Or, like, I mean, you can ask yeah. your fellow players as well. Like, everybody can work on a goal in terms of wording it or pursuing it. I'll keep it for now, but I'll mm -hmm. have a think about it for next time. Yeah, and obviously, if you want any help or whatever, just want to throw ideas at me like you can message me throughout the week or whatever I don't mind that um, Reach I'm going to assume you want to keep yours yeah, um, yeah I figured yeah we're going the right direction at the moment so. I would say so I think um, as I mentioned last session or the session before that the way to kind of get that answer would probably your best bets at the Citadel let's face it yeah so yeah that is most definitely where you probably want to be heading to achieve that goal if possible um as for that, though, I everybody's updated their experience totals, yeah? Yep. yep. Good, good, good. Yep. And then we'll start with Callum, because he's probably got the sorest of thoughts. Do you want to give us your review, Callum? It was a cool session. <laughs> and thank you for sticking it out with your horribly sore throat. Yep. Uh, Crumbar? UK Scott. There was there was a lot of important people in this one. Like we definitely were dealing with the you know higher up management of the game. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Um, so yeah, I liked it. That was good. Um, so I really enjoyed. There was a moment between Crumbar and Justory that I really really enjoyed. Um, Sorry, mate, you've cut you cut out completely there. I heard there was a moment. Luckily, just... Imagine that was it. I said mm -hmm. there was a moment between Crumbar and Justoria that I really enjoyed. Um, and it was the moment where she pretty much implied you're not so different from her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. It was good. I enjoyed that. I like Justoria. Justoria is probably my favourite character. Awesome. Like M NPC wise. Obviously, because Crumbar is your favourite character, right? In general. Yes. <laughs> and because that is me. I mean, I just think Eremos is gonna be heartbroken that he's not your favourite. Eremos is a little cunt, but he's still my little cunt, so I want him back. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that to Magna. Um Ethos oh, Shad. Well. Uh I love you. Thank you. <laughs> um Yeah, yeah, good, 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 good fun guys. Um, it was, I, I won't lie, I was a wee bit surprised when we showed up and there wasn't a portal. I was expecting it to be, um, you know, like a the end, <laughs> bat, battle music starting up. <laughs> yeah. um, especially, especially when, too, when you we heard the king's voice, I was like, oh shit, has he been behind them all along making them happen? And you still don't know. So, Yeah, um, because what I was wondering is, it's like, what if what if the red road man is like just some kind of like body double that he uses or something? Could be, you know. But I mean, have you ever seen him in the same place at the same time? I know, right? Because <laughs> that's infallible logic, obviously. Oh dear. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah. I, I liked it. Oh, good. I had fun. Um. Kitleth and Sophie. Uh, I found it really funny when he uh, muted Eric. <laughs> oh my god, yes. <laughs> is that's going off on his like, eh, no, excuse you, <laughs> quiet. 
I mean, when you're the Wizard King, the first thing you learn is to silence other spellcasters, right? So, yep. yeah, it just also has the added bonus of they're silenced. So, that's always nice. Yeah, I did like Kitty's a. Uh, that's not quite the princess I remember moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she didn't quite look like that before. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I'm pretty sure our princess is in another castle. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. I mean, who can see, really? Who mm. who can see? Uh, anything else you'd like to add? No. Um, this is thinking about like harvesting toads. Toads. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, profit, I guess. Yep. Profit. Mad um, dollar. Profit. Yeah, profit. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> What about yourself? Okay, I thank you about them. <laughs> yeah, no. Pro feet would be a good one. Uh, 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 lots of walking. We need horses again, by the way. Mm. Oh, so yeah. we can afford them. Oh, so. You think you could learn like how to like magically make horses when you or buy like yeah. some items from Being really handy. Trade something you have for something that summons magic horses, right? That's what you need yeah. to do. Or ask your story to start paying you guys in magic items. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Although, think about this way, right? Just as a, a, a brief summary of the whole thing. She was willing to sleep vulnerable next to you guys. That should maybe say something about the level of trust she has in you. Or the level of power she has over us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, you trust someone as far as you trust your own abilities as well, right? <laughs> So, yeah, but I mean, yeah, yeah. That's, that's something to be said, because remember when she like crystallized her room and she had her private conversation with you guys? So, yeah, it's, it's a big deal, you know? And that's mm -hmm. what that's to. Uh, yeah, I was, yeah, it enjoyed was. it, but yeah. Do prefer less walking. We need to start working that some one way or another. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, yeah, like somewhere between but, hammer and walking for four weeks. There's a happy yeah. middle somewhere in there. There's got to be um, something. Yeah. That's, like I don't know, find some amazing boat with legs or something. You know, like line or something. Yeah. yeah. But that's yeah. some Pegasi, right? Uh, yeah, that would be perfect. Uh, <laughs> just, need to, just need to find who has such a thing. Right. and then try and acquire that well no I, I think that was a fun session it was nice to drop some more lore for you guys um, and reveal some more crazy things and yeah kind of just work out that you guys are kind of in that middle ground again where you're like I've got a couple of things we should be doing but it's what you want to try and like focus on right and what's not going to get worse as time goes on so yeah anyway thank you for playing everyone and we'll all meet up next week I imagine yep, mm -hmm. yep. Goodbye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.